Okay, a strange reaction because my feelings about Snarky Puppy, them dudes is incredible. They are incredible, incredible musicians. I don't, anyone who says they're not incredible just doesn't know what the fuck they're talking about. But that being said, it doesn't mean that every song they play is a, hold on, beer, banger. Like not every single song is a song where I'm like, that's amazing. But when they are amazing, they are flat out, like, I don't know who I would put above them. Like, just killer. They have a giant cast of musicians, depending on like where they're playing and where the tour dates are, as far as who shows up and plays what things. But just absolutely amazing. Lala Hathaway, I have not heard, has been recommended to me. So I thought this is like two birds with one stone, do new Snarky Puppy track, and Lala Hathaway have no idea what's about to happen. But yes, I have seen Snarky Puppy live, phenomenal. And I met Larnell Lewis, who was playing drums, um, just for a second. And uh, very nice guy and an amazing drummer. Let's see what's going on with Snarky Puppy featuring Lala Hathaway. No clue, man, no clue. Well, it's the first time only once, right? First time, let's go. That I recognize, that's James Bond. That is James Bond being played, being played very slowly. Against those chords in the background. That is a hundred percent fucking the James Bond 007 theme song. Damn. Yeah, that is snarky puppy all the fucking way. Turn my headphones up. It is kind of awesome that it's the the whole backing track is 007. I have not played it in so long. I don't know what key you put it in. It's minor because I think it goes up to a minor major seven. Oh, this is not going to work because I don't know how to play it. Boom, da da da. Nope. Da 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 da. Kind of, but that type of uh, major seven against a minor major seven. Sorry, I got too many effects on. But it's like they're they're doing a whole vamp on the double of fucking seven. Oh, I can just copy him. If they would if they would just leave the camera on the fucking guitar player, I could just steal it from him. Was like they're playing an A flat. Yeah, for this style of music, it's 10 out of 10. It's 10 out of 10. If you don't like it, you just don't like the style of music. It's one of them things. Like, if you don't like it, it's just... You just don't like it. It's not because it's not good. It's fucking fantastic. Maybe it's up to the sharp nine and down to the flat. 
sorry, I'm distracted because like I actually like a long time ago, I forgot that I used to teach people like a 007 finger picking thing. And I forgot that I even did that until I'm hearing this. I'm like, wait a minute. No, I definitely know how to play it because you should teach it. But I don't remember what I did because it was like years and years and years ago. So I'm like trying to refigure that out while I'm also listening to the song. It's not just her kicking ass. The keys are also very all over the place. Well, not all over, but they're very linear. And so uh, this is something I kind of mentioned in another video, which is a reference pitches where you steal, you can steal your intonation from the other instruments going around. Like in case you get like kind of lost for a second, you can pick up your pitch from other instruments. But when people are being all fucking jazzy and like the chords are moving around, you can't, when you're singing or whatever, you can't pick up your pitch from the keyboard player because he's not playing your home chord anymore. He's off in some distant Mars land. And so it's just basically like how centered are you and how well do you know your orbit of notes? And she is like on it. She's got her own planet and it doesn't matter where any, anything else goes. She knows exactly where she is at all times. And it's nuts because she's like, now she's scatting on top of it, which, you know, maybe you don't find that impressive. I think it's impressive. But the more notes she bounces between, the harder it, it is to stay centered. Because if you get off by like just a, like a fraction on a note, then all the rest of your notes get off when you're singing. But she can't refer back to the keyboard player or a guitar player. But the guitar player is not really playing big chords. He's doing more like uh, fill bass runs and shit. But yeah, it's pretty fucking epic. <laughs> She said the double voice shit. She said the double voice shit. What? Hold on. I did not know this was all gonna tie in a circle. That shit that I heard on Beatbox for the last two months. I did not know that was going to pop up as Snarky Puppy, and I'm sorry, y'all. Dude, I think she beat you. It, she uh, she punched you in the dick. I don't, I don't think it's close. Everyone, everyone from Beatbox, I'm sorry if you take this personally. All of y'all, she's on another planet. The best beat... Boxer vocalist I ever heard was actually here, and her name is Lala Hathaway. Yeah, dude, yeah, holy shit. 
god oh my god yeah Jakob Jacob bruh no I feel you beatboxers use it better she only did it for a second but I'm flat out saying my opinion so far no obviously I've not heard everybody but I don't care if I lose the entire beatboxing community. I have to be honest. Her vocal performance and her double voice is not close. When I say not close, let me go ahead and put a nail in the coffin. Take every beatboxer I've ever heard and combine them all into one stack and her vocal ability is better than all of them all combined. To me, it's not close. It's not a close race. And if it is close to you, well, enjoy your perspective. That is a virtuoso singer, 10 out of 10, timbre, rhythm, performance, perfect on every single level. Now, again, like maybe you don't like the way she uses it. I respect that. Like maybe you want it in a different way context you want like a different avenue for to, de to deliver that but if you're waiting for someone to sound better than that i mean keep fucking waiting like i don't know who it is that you're waiting for and again something i'm gonna repeat something i said earlier but i'll say it like a little bit differently which is a lot of times when we listen to a uh, performer perform we listen to a, a guitar player or in this case a vocalist perform we listen to the vocalist and we go ah no no so and so could do that can they do it in that context which is the band is so fucking amazing and doing so much random jazzy reharmonization shit uh, reharmonization is a fancy word for saying substituting out chords underneath a melody so that you'd have a typical set of chords and the keyboardist or whatever goes off into a distant land and he's reharmonizing, he's chord substituting. And so you cannot rely on the band to be at home. You can only rely on yourself. And she relied on herself and she was anchored the whole time. Yeah, I got no bones about it. No bones about it. Dude, she's on another fucking... When I say like another level, I'm talking about between like Black Belt and Grandmaster. They're both Black Belts, but you got Black Belt, like you just got one, and Grandmaster, you, you've been a Black Belt for like 15 fucking years. She's on, to me, another fucking wavelength. Let me hammer home one more way. Let me make one more set of enemies and then we'll say goodbye. Which is, I would never play her a beatboxer and be like, check out his singing or his double voice. I would never do that. I might be like, check out this arrangement, check out the percussion versus the upper levels. I would talk about something else going on in the beatboxing, but I would never ever bring her a video that I've seen so far out of like a hundred videos and be like, here, listen to what this guy does, does with his voice because that's just fucking stupid. It's just, it's, that is the first time I've heard her and I only need to hear her one time. She's on another fucking planet. And that's not disrespect to the beatboxers, but you got to know where the fuck you are, dude. Like, are you good at basketball? Maybe. Can you go pro? Maybe. 
Are you on a pro team? Maybe. Are you a superstar on a team? Maybe. Are you fucking LeBron James? No, you are not. There's a fucking gap. Maybe you're making $30 million a year playing basketball, but you are not fucking LeBron James. You are not that dude. She is on another fucking planet. And maybe you're like the best person in the fucking country or whatever. Like you came in top one. You ain't fucking with her. I know we got to believe in ourselves. We got to talk ourselves up and, you know, be ready to do the next thing. But don't be fucking dumb. Every, every NBA superstar is ready to take on LeBron James. They're all paid for that. They all compete that way. They're all ready to play. But when you look at year after year after year after year, he puts them in the fucking coffin. It's been what? He's been in the finals nine out of ten years. Nine out of ten years he's in the finals. That's a different level, son. It's a different level. She's on a different level. I don't know what else is, is to say. Snarky Puppy's on a different level. Snarky Puppy as a band's on a different level, but I knew about that, so I'm not blown away by that. Yeah, the whole band playing, the bass, the guitar, uh, the fucking horns, the keys, all of it was 10 out of 10. The entire performance was 10 out of 10. All of it was great, uh, but I'm familiar with Snarky Puppy. I just have not heard her before. Yeah. She did what she came to do. Mm. Done with the video. Peace.